Results are in for Charlotte's city elections and big headline here. No major surprises. Let's take you through three of the big races. First, Democrat Mayor Vi Lyles holds on to her position, keeping off her Republican challenger. For Charlotte City Council at large seats, Dimple Ashmera and Braxton Winston will hold on to their seats with two familiar faces rejoining them, James Mitchell and Luana Mayfield now back on City Council. And take a look at this nail biter in District 6, Republican incumbent Tark Bakari edging out Democrat Stephanie Han. Bakari with 51% of the vote. Wake up Charlotte's Richard Devane joins us now with more and Richard. We know uh, turnout for this election was extremely low. Absolutely correct. Uh, there were less people that that came out to vote than actually go to some of the bigger concerts we've had in Charlotte over the last well the last year I should say less than the amount of people that would fill the lower bowl of Bank of America Stadium. So when it all came down to it really name recognition and your party affiliation played a big role. It was a night of little drama in races to see who will lead Charlotte and that meant a good night for incumbents especially Democrats. I think it tells us that the Democratic Party have a strong bench, uh, that we got individuals in our community that really cares about how Charlotte is growing and, and, and want to provide the leadership for our community. All at large seats on the council went to Democrats, including two former council people who will now return to office. Mayor Vi Lyles also won her office easily, beating her opponent by a wide margin of more than 49,000 votes. She says affordable housing is a key issue for the council to continue to work on. I would hope that we would look at both the people that can't afford housing at all, but also those folks that can't afford to buy a home or to rent a home in our city. The most competitive race saw Republican Tariq Bakari retain his seat in District 6 by some 377 votes. He says he knows it'll be tough to be one of only two Republicans on the council when it comes to certain issues. A lot of things where we disagree that I've got to do my best to strategize on and work behind the scenes. and and just kind of make sure that we have a little bit of balance. Yeah, and the council winners will, will be sworn in in September. They'll serve to December of 2023. Back to you. Richard, thank you.